Hi there and welcome to a video from Mr Hegarty from Hegarty Maths. I wanted to make a video to show you the brand new website and all the really cool features we've got there to help you if you're studying for your GCSE or A level maths. Forgive me at the moment I've got a bit of a cold uh, that's why my voice is a bit different. Okay so if you're in Google you can search Hegarty Maths and you can click enter and it's the first thing that comes up. The website is www.hegartymaths.com so we can click on that and we end up on the website. Now the website's uh, totally designed from fresh so it should be a, a slick clean experience for you. You can use the search button here to search a video. Say you wanted to search a video on let's say um, quadratic formula and you hit search and they're the videos we've got on the quadratic formula so you can click any one of them and there's a video and you're in a course there on a video on the quadratic formula now what you can do as well if, um, you can just as we did before search the GCSE and A level courses if we go into GCSE we've got Ed Excel Higher, Foundation, Secure, Grade C and lots of past paper questions similar with AQA now if you go into let's say Higher um, here are all the higher papers that we've answered and here are all the topics that we work work videos through so you can do that if you go back to GCSE uh, you can do past paper questions by topic which is really helpful revising so not only have we done them by year but if you wanted to say practice all the um, questions that have come up on fractions decimals and um, percentages in the past paper questions here they are and you can practice them like that Okay, looking at A level, what we've got available. Go back to the home page here. If you look at A level, we've got Core One to Core Four, S One, D One, FP One, all getting virtually completed, and FP Two is underway. And we've got OCR D One. Now, in any one, you go into let's say Core Three. You've got all the past paper questions and the Solomon questions and all the topics there. So if you go into a particular topic like let's say differentiation in core 3, there are all the videos to teach you uh, about differentiation. Notice here you can go to past paper questions and you've got all the past paper questions there um, as well to match against that. Okay, so that's the basic Hegarty Maths, but here's the really cool thing. You can sign up to the website if you click here. And let's see what happens if you do that. So if you click that, you get to this page here and you put in your first name, your last name, your email address. You describe whether you're a student, a teacher, a parent, and you make yourself a nice, easy password you'll remember. That will send you a verification email to the email address you gave here, which when you log into your email, click that and it will bring you back to the site and you're a verified user of Hegarty Maths. Now, what do you get if you're a verified user of Hegarty Maths? Okay, if you're a verified user and you've logged in, you will get yourself your own dashboard. It shows you the videos you've watched recently on the site. But the really cool thing is courses. If you go into courses, you can sign up to some courses. And let me show you. Go update courses. Let's say you're doing some A-level, you're doing Core 3, Core 4 and Decision 1. Or if you're a GCSE student, you're battling to get a grade B or C, or you're doing the higher paper, let's say. You can update your courses and it creates a pie chart for each of your courses and an associated checklist. And let's see what one of those involves. So imagine you're an A-level student doing decision maths. Let's go to the checklist. Here's the checklist, everything you need to know for that course here and a, a learning check system. So say you understand this learning objective or don't, you can click red and your pie chart updates. This one you do understand. You click, click green, your pie chart updates, green, your pie chart updates, green, your pie chart updates. Now each of these criteria are matched to a video and you can be in the video section here and you watch the video, you do the questions, you take the notes and at the end of it you totally get it, so you click green. Again, your pie chart updates. You then go to the next video in that topic and here you didn't quite get it so what you do is you click that now at any time you can then go back to your checklist and look at all of the items here 
or you can go up to all your courses and view all your courses in the courses section. Let's see what that looks like for a GCSE course. Here's a good course for those trying to get a grade C. Here are 20 videos so far, but there'll be 40 in time for the exam. Here are 20 videos that would pretty much ensure if you know them, you could get a grade C. So let's go to the first. You watch that video. You do the questions I say in that video. And at the end, you half get it. Your pie chart updates. Then you go to the next video. You watch it. You do the questions there. You get them all right. You click green, I got it. And watch how your pie chart is updating all the time. So this is a really brilliant facility, if you go back to your checklist, for you to have an understanding of whether you understand the topics. And here's how you can view the course. You can look down through everything and you can update your course as you go along. And you can see there your pie chart is updating. Green, what you totally understand. Amber, what you've made some mistakes on. Red, something you don't get at all. You should ask your teacher. You should watch the video another time at minimum. Black, you haven't even looked at the video yet and you haven't looked it up. So there's a really cool way of you understanding your progress through these courses. Lastly, just to point out what you can do in terms of past paper questions. Say you're an A-level student. Say you're doing core four. And within each of these topics, uh, you will find past paper questions associated down here. Here are all the tutorials on past paper questions, uh, on partial fractions, sorry, and here are the past paper questions. So the past paper questions bring you through several past paper questions on that topic that you can test yourself against. Again, just play the video, pause it when the question shows, try it yourself and mark it off that. But I hope you really enjoyed the new website. It's taken a lot of time to build. Um, Hopefully the checklist really provides you with some structure to help get, get a fantastic mark in those summer exams. And please do support us. Um, if you did have the money, you could donate uh, to the cause to help make the website better. But if you don't, that's absolutely fine. But we would appreciate if you shared it with your friends and your teachers to show them uh, if you do find it useful and if you think others would benefit from it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good weekend. Um, speak to you soon.